Hi guys, happy Wednesday and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Jess. And if you have, hello again, what's up? Let's hang out. Today, I'm just gonna do a quick book tag. It's the 20 questions book tag. I just found it online, just Googled it and it popped up and it was there. And I was like, let me just do this because it sounds like fun. All right, so obviously there's 20 questions to this. No duh, uh, 20 question book tag. Uh, so I'm gonna start with number one and I have it written or I have the screenshot on my iPad. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, first question, how many books is too many books in a series? I've only finished a few series in my life because I get I feel like a trilogy, trilogy. I feel like that is the way to go. Like after three books, I feel like after that, I start to lose interest, but I am just a very Sagittarius person and I lose interest and I need to move on. Um, so I need a change in pace. I need a change in something. So I think about three books, that should be enough. Uh, number two, how do you feel about cliffhangers? Okay, first off, we're gonna talk about if you grew up without cable and you watched PBS, there's a show called Between the Lions and there's a guy and his name was Cliffhanger and he uh, <clears throat> he would like fall off a cliff and he would like hold onto a branch and uh, he would, he had a little theme song and it was like Cliffhanger hanging from a cliff and that's why he's called Cliffhanger and it would always end in a cliffhanger and I just, it just, it was just great, great part of that show. <laughs> I love that show. That was one of my favorite shows as a kid. But cliffhangers, I like them because they keep me intrigued. Because like I said, I get easily bored and I have to move on. So I feel like cliffhangers really do keep me engaged and keep me wanting more. I know a lot of people do not like them. And like, because it stresses them out. But I feel like if it wasn't a cliffhanger, I am wrapped up and I'm done. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I, if you got a cliffhanger, it's gonna make me come back, which is what cliffhangers are. That's what they're meant for. Also, that is a blanket. There's a glare. So, blanket goes up on the window. Number three, hard copy or paperback? I'm gonna go with paperback. I love me a paperback. I, hardcovers are cool. I'm not knocking them, but paperbacks, I just like to, you know, open them and just flip them open and like just hold them like all weird while I'm reading. Um, I like to bend them like the crease, uh, crease the uh, uh, spine because it's just easier to read to me. I feel like, I mean, like a, a hardcover would just kind of it's a little bit more cumbersome. I gotta maneuver it. And also I like to read on BART and I feel like a, a hardcover is a lot more heavy and a lot, like I said, more cumbersome than if I just throw in a paperback in my backpack. Uh, so I feel like I always gravitate towards a paperback. But when it comes to what's on your shelf, hardcovers are a lot nicer to look at. <laughs> But that's, yeah, I prefer paperback. Four, favorite book. Now for this one, I would always answer Holes by Lewis Sacker because it's just like a classic, dude. Like it is just good. It's just perfect all the way around. The whole story kept me engaged. It's everything I understand, you know, you know, it's a good book. Um, but I feel like my new favorite book of all time is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And if you are my friend, or even if you've watched this channel for a little while, you're probably rolling your eyes, but I don't care because I love that book. It literally, like, I just got it in a hardcover because I only had it as an ebook and I am so excited to reread that. I'm actually just waiting for my friends in my book club um, to see if they wanna read it together for one of the upcoming months to reread it. 
But if they're like, we can wait on it, I'm gonna reread it, and then whenever we do reread it, or whenever we do read it in the book club, I'm going to re-reread it because I love that book. It's so good. If you have not checked it out, oh my god, please check out Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Oh my god, I love that book. All right, next book. Let's move on. Jessica, stop freaking out over this. Least favorite book. Least favorite book. I'm gonna hurt people's feelings. I'm gonna hurt people's feelings. I know it because everybody loves this fucking book. <laughs> I am not a fan of Looking for Alaska by John Green. I think that's his, uh, his name. Uh, I'm sorry, but whenever I read his books, I don't know if it's because it's YA, but I just get so irritated and so annoyed with the main character usually, like the male. Um, so in the book, in that book, I get super irritated with him, right? But usually, usually in John Green books, like I'm like cool with everybody else around him, like everyone else, I'm like, oh yeah, like I, I feel them, I feel them, I like them. They're not bad, they're not good, but they're not bad. Like it's just whatever. But in Looking for Alaska, I cannot stand him, I cannot stand her, I cannot stand one of his friends. The whole time I was reading it, I wanted it to be over. And I love you, Angelica, and I know that's your favorite book, and I'm sorry that I'm literally trashing it. And Angelica's my friend that like literally has tattooed like quotes from the book because she loves that book so much. But the characters are the most irritating people. And it's just like, it's just a John Green thing. It's just a John Green thing, just the way that, I mean, just the way that the guy is just so dumb and just like, it's like, all right, are you bring over here now? Okay, then we bring over here now? Okay, you gonna really wanna do that? All right, that's fine, do that. Like, dude, grab some balls, put your foot down. God damn it. And then the girls always take advantage of them. Oh God, it's just like, it's so stressed. I just wanna slap everyone. I wanna slap everyone. But especially in that book, I wanna slap everyone. I mean, I feel bad for the kid, but also like, just stop. Number six, love triangles, yes or no? I wanna say yes. I wanna say yes because that keeps you on your toes. But when I'm actually reading a love triangle, I am not a fan. I feel like love triangles in general, in general, are just disrespectful. <laughs> there should not be a love triangle unless you choose and want your relationship to be a love triangle like that's what you aim for and that's what you like and everyone involved is already like on board you know what i mean but love triangles like i feel like it's a good concept and when you start reading you're like yes this is it i like this love triangle but then it's like dude just choose one person like if you really do love a person you, there's no competition there's no if you really like someone and you really want to be with them there's no competition between two people if there is a competition between two people you shouldn't be with either of those people that's how i feel and i'm sorry if i've hurt anyone's feelings but that's always how i end up i end up diving in to a love triangle and then like i said just getting kind of upset because of that situation because that's how i feel Okay, there's a lot of ranting in this tag. Oh my goodness. Jessica, chillax. Let me just... Next question, number seven. The most recent book you just couldn't finish. Um, okay, let me show you the book because I have it right here. It's this one, Girl A by Abigail Dean. Now, this book, I I am very near to the end. Very, very near. Like, I probably got like 30 pages before I finished this book. And I, when I got halfway, I put it down and I couldn't finish it. And I was like, I, I'm just, I'm moving on. I can't. But then I was like, you know, just push yourself. People say that it keeps getting better, so push yourself. So I did push myself. And now again, what this book does is I'm gonna hold it up. What this book does is it literally puts me in a reading slump. Like when I start reading it, I don't wanna read anything anymore. So like lately I've been, I like I've read this for almost a month already. And like I would have finished this normally in a, about a week. But every time I pick it up, 
it just discourages me. I don't want to read it. I get bored. Like, I'm not saying the book is boring because it's not. It really isn't. I am going to finish though. I have it in my goal to finish it, but I have moved on to different books and I have taken a, a pretty long break from this. If you can say it's been about a week since I picked this up. So we'll see if we finish that guy at some point, but we'll, I don't know. Uh, girl A, you're good, but you're not for me. Steph, Stephen King, I was gonna call him Stephen. Stephen King book, um, the other one that I couldn't finish and I cannot remember the name of it, but I will plug it in somewhere here so that you can see the cover of it. But this book, I started it, it was for our book club and I just texted the girls like, I can't finish this book and I apologize. I just, I couldn't handle, I didn't know what was happening, first of all. I was completely lost. And this one I fully DNF'd, like I have not finished it. It's in my bookshelf and I have told myself, try to go back to it and try to see if you can finish it. Maybe it was just not the right time in your headspace to finish that book. But the way that he was telling the story was extremely ridiculously slow. Like people said this book was slow child read the other book believe me this one will be sprinting according to that one and that one is a slow book <laughs> so the other book and the language i was not i just could not keep reading that i just it very derogatory towards women very disrespectful to not just women but like other people like other adults and children I don't know it just made me feel kind of uncomfortable so i just i had to stop reading it i do i, I never want to just quit a book i always want to go back and like finish it and like it's like a goal thing like i want to finish it so maybe i'll finish it at some point but that really is a book that i put down and i was like I, i'm not picking this up anytime soon number eight a book you're currently reading i'm currently reading jane eyre which i said in my last one but i haven't picked it up in a minute the other one I'm currently reading is One to Watch. Uh, and that one's really, really good. I really enjoy it it's so far. It's hard to read for sure because of all of the putting down of plus size women, but it's not done in a malicious way from the author. Do you know what I mean? It's more of a, a perspective. You get the perspective of the plus size person kind of handling or getting these attacks so it, that's the only thing that really like it, it's kind of hard for me because i i've i've been there girl i've been there so that's the only part that like really is hard for me but like other than that the story the, like the storyline everything is super good you guys should definitely check that out is one to watch is what i'm currently reading like i would probably pick that up in all righty number nine last book you recommended to someone the last book that I actually recommended to someone, like I was actually like, you need to pick this book up, was literally The Seven Husbands of Evelyn, Evelyn Hugo, because I'm literally telling everybody and their mama to read that book. Um, except for my mom, she probably wouldn't like that book, honestly. <laughs> uh, but another book that I have recommended, oh, I actually, I just recommended it this morning. It's called Atomic Habits by, I think it's James Clear. Uh, that one is about building good habits uh it's a very exceptional self-help book uh it's not boring which some self-help books can be so i recommended that actually this morning i literally sent my sister a screenshot and was like check this book out like you'll like it so that's the last book number 10 oldest book you've read publication date i don't know what was that george orwell animal farm I guess that would be probably the oldest book I've read um, recently. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> I need to read more older books, more classics. I guess Jane Eyre, but I haven't finished that. So I'm just gonna go with, with Animal Farm. Next one, newest book you've read, publication date. Girl A, let's see when the publication date was because I saw it the other day and it was this year. 2021 uh and i think this was an early release this is the this is the newest book i've been reading and, and i feel like i talked down on it but like it, it it's pretty good it's it's hard because it's about you know like brothers and sisters being 
basically held captive by their parents in a way, but it's good. It's just takes a minute to get through. Next question. Favorite author? Julia Alvarez. Love her. Great. Fantastic. I have read two books from her and I like, I love them both, but I haven't read a lot of them. So I feel like that's kind of cheating. <laughs> um, another author that I really like was uh, Taylor Jen Jenkin uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid, who wrote The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I have her other book, um, was it Daisy Jones and the Six? I have that and I will start that soon. Um, I just, I'm trying to get through the books that I've already started, but I, it's on my list. I, I eyeball it all the time. And I walk by, I'm like, I'm going to fuck with you soon. Because I heard it was not, I, I heard it was just as good as The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So I'm really excited to check it out. Um, so I guess those are my two favorite authors at the moment because those are the two that I really like to read. Um, like I pick the books up and enjoy the whole time. So I'm gonna go with those. Buying books or borrowing books? Honestly, I like to buy my books. I feel like if I borrow a book, I get very overwhelmed because I feel like I have to bring it back. I don't wanna mess it up. I don't wanna like, you know, spill something on it. So I get too anxious to actually read the book if I borrow it. Um, unless I'm like really, really close to the person and I know that they won't like freak out on me or anything. Um, but I definitely like to buy my books. Um, recently I've been trying to borrow a little bit more from the library. Um, and it's just eBooks or audiobooks, but, but I prefer to own the book. 14, a book you dislike that everyone else seems to love. I just said it earlier is looking for Alaska uh what was the other one by him I can't fucking remember it there, he has a few books that I'm just like I don't I don't like them I don't like them okay it's not for me it's not a book I like and I, I, I'm sorry okay <laughs> I don't know what that was but it happened um yeah i don't like his books the only one that i really enjoyed that like i felt like lived up to the hype was um my god why can't i think of its name okay the only book that i really enjoyed by him was fault in our stars um but i've read paper towns and looking for alaska and not a fan i'm sorry um i do want to get down to like his other books and see how i feel about them but like i said with um paper towns and looking for alaska they both uh like the main characters and the girls in the like the love interests both or all four of them irritated me to my core so i do not enjoy those books and i'm sorry to everyone that i offended <laughs> actually no i'm not this is my opinion i don't like the books they irritate me okay okay we're moving on now. bookmarks or dog ears i'm gonna go with bookmarks i really enjoy a good bookmark uh, I like cute ones. I like ones that say funny things on it that'll make me smile when I open the book. Um, look, I'll have I'll show you one right here. It is from Book of the Month because that's where I got this book. And it says, saved you a spot. And I think that's cute. Um, or I have another one that says, I'll wait here. And I love that one. That was my favorite, but it's in my little bookmark cup. <laughs> I have a little cup where I just throw all my bookmarks in it. Um, but I like bookmarks. I say I prefer that rather than folding the ear. I used to fold the ear and I was like in middle school and I used to like fold the ear and my friend yelled at me so bad. She was like, how dare you disrespect the book like that? And I was like, I'm sorry I offended you. And ever since then, I feel like I just can't fold the, fold the ear because it just, dog ears just, I don't know. I get scared. I don't, I don't like being in trouble. Okay. A book you can always reread. Um, a book I can always reread is, uh, God, what is it called? Why is it leaving my brain? Um, In the Time of the Butterflies. Why did that take my brain so long to like come together in there? Um, so that book I can always reread. Um, another book that I've reread a few times, uh, was Holes, because I love that book. Uh, but yeah what's another one that I can reread 
I've reread The Hunger Games. I've read that twice already, so I could probably I'm pro probably gonna read it again because last time I read it was so long ago. Um, and what's another one that I've reread that I've enjoyed? Well, I'm just gonna leave it at that. How about that? How about those books? Okay, I gave you enough books. Can you hear music, or can you read while hearing music? And the answer is complicated. Um, I classical music I usually can and I do sometimes listen to music while I'm reading but I prefer not to have anything playing um I feel like it's it gets a little bit distracting and I read a little bit slower and I lose my train of thought a lot um especially if there's lyrics or if the uh like the instrumental music is a song that I I know like what was it? I was playing like a playlist the other day and Breaking Free from uh, from High School Musical started playing and I was like singing the lyrics in my mind instead of reading the book. So I feel like I, I do focus more if there's no music playing, but if I had to pick, it had to be classical music that doesn't ever have any lyrics. Like it's just classical music. Number 18, one point of view or mul multiple points of views. Uh, I prefer one point of view in a book, but I don't mind multiple points of view. I feel like multiple points of view do give you a bigger round to the story, but if I'm picking up a book and I'm going to go and read it, I feel like the point of view that it started on is probably the point of view that I want to stick to. It, it also depends on the genre. Like I want to, sometimes I've read um, like love stories and I, I like when romances have different points of views because then you can see one side of the love romance and then you can see the other side of, side of the romance and it's kind of nice to see that and compare that. Um, but if it's written from a point of view, I would prefer for it to just be one point of view. If it's third person, then I would, pr then you don't need different points of view because they're just kind of explaining what's happening, right? So, if it's any other genre other than romance, I would prefer it for not to be point of view. But if it's a romance, then I don't mind if it's point of view, if it has different points of views. Um, because I want to know what the other person is thinking. It's like, do you love them? Do you? <laughs> Or are you just playing them? Ugh. And me. Number 19. Do you read a book in one sitting or over mul multiple days? Depends on the day and on the book. Um, I have sat down and just read a book from beginning to end. Uh, it's not my favorite thing to do because I'm not the fastest reader. So it will take me a minute to get through the book. But I have done it before. It's not that bad. I prefer... Uh, I prefer to read it over a few days because I'm a Sagittarius and your girl needs some change. <laughs> I need the change of atmosphere. I need to, that's why I read multiple books because if I'm not feeling this atmosphere, I'm gonna jump on this other. And then if I'm not feeling that one, I'll jump back. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah, I'm gonna say throughout a few days. Who do you tag? So I'm gonna tag I'm gonna tag everybody, all of you, everybody, whoever's watching this, all five of y'all, all five of y'all that watch my videos, you guys are tagged. You guys make a video and you guys post it. Um, I wanna tag more people, but like, I don't know that many people. Wait, 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 there's this girl. I wanna tag Dreaded and Reddit because I really like her videos and I really enjoy like all of the stuff and I wanna see what she, how she feels about situations you feel me um so i'm tagging you girl and that is the end of this video i want to thank you if you made it this far if you heard me rambling thank you so much for doing that um make sure you guys like this video if you guys like tags i can totally check out some more tags um leave a comment below and tell me what is your book that you dnf'd i want to know what's a book that you were like i can't finish this book it's not for me um and then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell right next to that 
so that you can get notified for whenever I post. Every Wednesday, you go get that notification and we can come hang out on my channel and we can talk about more books. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a beautiful Wednesday or whatever day you're watching this on. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.